Thank you. And I want to warn everyone at the beginning that being English, being excited and visionary doesn't come naturally to me. So I hope this all doesn't sound too odd. But I want you to imagine the world in five years time to think beyond just for a moment all that's going on, going on around us today. What does this world look like? We certainly haven't returned to normal. The importance, the magic even, of being with a teacher, a colleague, a librarian, of being in the presence of a work of art, a book, none of this has diminished. But we also see how much can be done digitally and seize the possibilities fully to enable education, research, and access to heritage. Meanwhile, despite reduced travel, climate change is clearly with us to stay for the foreseeable future. Extreme weather events have intensified threatening much of our heritage, especially in small island developing states. Yet when a storm, a fire, or another disaster strikes, all is not lost because we will have enabled heritage institutions to work together, to share their equipment, their expertise, to digitize their collections, to store them safely, and to provide controlled access to them for public interest purposes, just as they have long done in person. And how is this possible? Because WIPO has taken action has just celebrated the pack passage of a Marrakesh Treaty for the memory of the world. There is consensus, not just because of the need to safeguard heritage in the face of climate change, but also because governments of richer countries, those whose citizens don't struggle to get visas to pay for travel, have now understood, thanks to COVID, what it looks like when there isn't the possibility to consult with the heritage of humanity in other cities, in other countries, in person to draw on it to support research, education, and understanding between peoples. Such a treaty has been recognized as not only essential to bringing about change in national laws, to supporting efforts to safeguard heritage, education, and research and understanding between peoples without causing undue harm to right holders. Not only because such a treaty offers invaluable guidance and security for governments to be certain in what they are doing, but also because it is the only way to ensure that heritage institutions can work together to deliver. Thank you.